Alrighty, today we are breaking the physics of light. How fun. Uh, we're doing this with RTX. So there are some instances in virtual production and animation and stuff where you want things to not work how they're supposed to. Uh, for example, I have a cube here uh, that only shows up in reflections. How cool is that? I also have a cube here that uh, not only is colored different in reflections, but also is a different shape in reflections. So it's this weird sort of pull to the side shape and then in the reflection it's a green cube. Uh, and the last instance is here we have a white wall that is, well, it's giving off red bounce light. Uh, same thing here, we have a green wall that's giving off white bounce light. So, let's have a look how we do it. So this is using, so this, first of all, this requires ray tracing to be on. So, uh, could sort of defeat the trick if we turn on path tracing. However, we are required to have ray tracing on. I don't know if there is any possible way to do this without ray tracing, as uh, Unreal is a sort of only renders what you sort of see type game engine. So, uh, you know, we can't. Without ray tracing, we can't do a lot of these tricks, and I don't know of a way around that. Um, so what we're using is called the ray trace quality switch. Uh, so if I have a look at the cube, for example, that's disappeared, or you know what, let's just make a new one instead. So if I make a new material, and let's call this trick one, uh, inside the material, all we need to do is I can't get my mouth. There we go. All we need to do is enable the material attributes on this, and we can search for ray traced quality switch like so. And then if we grab a make material attributes, we can actually grab two of these. Uh, and if you have a look here, uh, we have uh, two inputs. And basically what this does is allows us to specify two completely different materials, uh, one that the game engine sees with its bare eye, and one that shows up in ray traced bounce effects. That is, say, the reflection bounce from this mirror, or the global illumination bounce in this uh, terrible version of a Cornell box. So, using this trick, we can specify various things. So, this cube here uh, actually has a world displacement. Uh, as well as a tessellation multiplier on one and not on the other. That's how we get a displaced cube up here and a regular cube down here. Uh, the This invisible cube, for example, uh, this material is set to be masked and we basically, we have a mask on the, what the uh, game engine sees, but not on what the ray trace sees. That's how we end up with a cube that uh, is non-existent in the real world but only in reflections uh, and you'll notice uh, ray traced shadows for example cause the cube to show up again so you do keep that in mind unless you turn off ray traced shadows uh, and we can go ahead and say flip these if we wanted to and what that'll do for us is basically the exact opposite we'll have a cube that doesn't show up in reflections like that so now we have a regular cube and uh, it's not showing up in reflections and the exact same here. We have, for our global illumination, we have a white wall in what the normal thing sees, and the path tracer, or the ray tracer, sees a red wall. That's how we get red in our global illumination without actually being a red wall there. Same, but reversed for this white wall. So, it's a quite a simple trick, but uh, it can be really handy if you want something to not show up in a reflection, or to show up in a reflection, or just if you want to tweak things to, uh, you know, better suit you, because, you know, we are in 3D, we don't have to be bound by quite the same physical rules as the real world. Uh, so, yeah, just a quick handy tip for you. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.